Hello, this is Dr. Gay from First Second MRI, and this is a 35-year-old female who has complaints of knee pain for more than a year. She has a funny area of intermediate signal, so it's not really dark or bright, just in the middle. We call that intermediate signal. It looks gray, like muscle, and it's in the back of the knee joint. So to get oriented, we have the front of the knee, where the kneecap is. We have the femur, the big thigh bone, that's up high, and we have the tibia down below, and we're looking at this patient in profile, the back of the knee, called the popliteal regions back here. And in the middle we have the area of abnormality. This is in the back of the middle. So this is something that looks really unusual. At first glance it looks sort of like a tumor, so uh, we need to look at other views to see um, if it looks solid or more cystic. If we roll to one side we see a meniscus, which is a little black triangular wedge. Right here is the front of the lateral meniscus. Here's the back of the lateral meniscus looking really good. Here's the side of the lateral meniscus, so this patient has no lateral meniscus tear. It looks great. Again, here's the lateral femur, lateral tibia, and that meniscus fits right in between. Now, if we go to the medial side, we're going to go right through the middle of the joint. We see this big funny thing in the back. This, by the way, is the posterior cruciate ligament coming here. We're going to go over to the medial side. When we get to the medial side, we're going to look for that medial meniscus. And right here, I put some arrows on the posterior horn the back of the medial meniscus is torn. So you can see the front of it looks nice and dark, uniform and normal, like a nice little dark triangle. And in the back it looks small and irregular. If we go to the cut here, we have the arrows, it looks really um, unusual. So this is a complex tear involving the posterior horn. If we follow this meniscus over one, we see the fluid or this complex fluid area back over here. So it looks like this may be coming out of the meniscus into this space. So we're going to look at another view here and see if that's the case. So here's that same complex, partially fluid. Uh, looks Some areas are dark, which look like, like they're solid. Other places are bright like fluid. So it's a really a complex, partially cystic process. This is that meniscus in back that's not quite normal, um, torn and irregular. And we see that fluid looks like it is continuous. This is probably a really unusually complex what we call perimeniscal cyst, where the fluid weeps out of the meniscus tear and it has to go somewhere. So in this patient, it went back over here. Now this is a viewer looking with the kneecap in the front, the back over here where the table is. We have the medial side over here, the medial, and here's over on the lateral side. Let's get them over here. And in the very back here is where we see that complex cyst. So again, the really bright area is fluid and the area that's dark is fibrosis or scarring or solid components. So this is a mixed signal intensity structure, partially cystic with these partially solid areas. And again, since it does touch that abnormal meniscus, it may be just a really complex perimeniscal cyst. But any cyst that's complex and unusual looking, we worry about synovial cell sarcoma. Sometimes um, sarcomatous lesions can look cystic. And uh, so it's a good idea to go in there and fix this meniscus and at the same time, just look at that and make sure that it is just a very unusual looking perimeniscal cyst. And that's it. Thank you very much.